Hello guys and welcome back to Maxime channel, a channel that brings you some of the most exciting content from the motor world. We got close calls, crashes, road rage, kindness, police vs bikers and many more moments. This episode is going to be a mix of all those situations and hopefully you will enjoy watching it. All the clips used in this episode are for educational purposes. And in the first video we already have a crazy situation between a biker and a driver. Make sure to sit back because you'll definitely enjoy this one. It looks like the driver didn't want to let the biker go for some reason and he attempted to push him and his girl off the bike. This is where the biker snapped and decided to fight back. Situation got so hectic that a lot of bystanders had to get involved in order to calm him down. When you're just minding your own business and riding around, but you happen to capture this on camera. I don't know what exactly led up to this guy going so crazy, but something must have happened between the two, and the driver didn't hold back. Yeah, raising your hand like that totally makes everything okay. Despite the driver's apology, the biker was still not having it. An apology is just not good enough, and he definitely saw the biker on the road before he pulled out on him. As you can hear, the biker didn't think twice before getting his plate number and reporting him to the police. Pay close attention at the taxi driver in front of the biker. He switched over into biker's lane without signaling or checking his mirrors. But the worst part is yet to come. Believe it or not, but the taxi driver pulled up to the biker a bit later and he started yelling at him for some reason. Check out how the biker handled him. Ty jesteś jebnięty, jaki przejściu dla pieszych, k***wo. Ty do okulisty idź, k***wo. Masz k***wo okulary. Jesteś debilem, k***wo, tyle. Kierunkowskazy, panancie. In this video, you will see just a tip of the iceberg of this biker's crazy encounters on the road. Videos like this one are supposed to teach us all of us how to properly behave on the road. Indicate on time people, check your mirrors, obey the traffic lights and signs, and drive with caution. Those things are fundamental and they are not difficult to follow. That's what differentiates a good driver from a bad one. So which one are you? Driver came way too close to the biker as he passed him, and for no reason at all. He had a completely open lane on his right and he could have overtaken him without putting his life in danger. But no, he wanted to prove something, and this is about to cost him. Boy was this a mistake he wish he didn't make.
This is something new, guys. Why on earth did the driver swerve over a double solid yellow line into the opposite lane? What was his deal? It's like he purposely tried to hit the biker or jump scare him. Either way, not cool, my man. It's not even funny to joke around like that. Self-entitled driver didn't bother looking at his mirrors, not to mention to indicate. That will be really too much to ask for now. Please, drivers, know that others in traffic can't read your mind, and we don't know where you're going to make a turn if you don't indicate. Olha, mano, olha, dá seta, caralho. Você sabe olhar, não, porra. Filho da puta. Ué, se eu jogar a porra do cara em cima de mim e pergunto o que é que é, ó. Tomar no seu cu. Lógico, é lógico, quem foi? Tomar no cu, velho. There was some cows chilling in the middle of the road, and seeing those bikers riding at a high rate of speed, I was certain that they'd hit a one or two cows and crash. But their sharp reflexes did the job, and they evaded all of them. It's like a video game scene. If you're talking about an epic cutoff, this here has to be one of the crazier ones. Check out how the biker decided to play a prank on his buddy. My heart dropped after seeing how close it was. What do you guys think about this? Ever teased a friend of yours like this before? And is it worth? <laughs> Biker hit some gravel on the road and he lost control of his bike and nearly crashed. This was really close. Drava was too busy staring at his phone that he didn't even notice that the biker passed him. Sometimes it's better if you wait at the lights for a couple of seconds, even if they turn green. You can never know when a crazy driver might run his light and cause a wreck. Rude driver ran a red light, but that's not all. He made an illegal U-turn right in front of the biker, nearly causing him to rear-end the driver. Unbelievable. Crossing the road at no crosswalk and without bothering to look both ways first. And he acts shocked. Indicating does not give you the right of way, and some drivers don't know it, still to this day and age. Unfortunately, they learn one day, but on the hard way. As if dealing with careless drivers while lane splitting was not enough, now we have careless bikers as well. There is no way that this rude driver didn't notice the biker. He was right beside him when he started changing lanes. 
We definitely need to do much better if we want to keep everyone in traffic safe. Te pasa? A cyclist casually warning a fellow cyclist that the driver who was exiting the parking lot does not care or look at all. He's not looking, heads up! Police officer casually stopped on a crosswalk, and we are not talking slightly over, we are talking really hardcore, full on crosswalk stop. Makes you wonder, if police does it, then it's not strange to see regular people do it too. They're supposed to uphold the law and set a positive and a great example, and not a bad one like this. Ma'am, there's plenty of room behind you to back up if you don't want to hit the crosswalk. There's a white line here. Yeah, tell her. Don't act like a fool. Let her know to get the fucking crosswalks from now on. Fucking piece of cops. an impatient driver here who thinks he's better than the rest of the guys in traffic. Of course, he ran a red light. Biker was just riding around and minding his own business, but as bad luck wants it, he was in for a jump scare of the week, perhaps a month as well. And this crazy van driver came behind the corner like he's a war hero. These riders didn't know that it was apparently illegal to ride on their quads around this area, and the cops who pulled them over were not so friendly. Well, at least not in the beginning. These guys were generally confused, and they didn't know that they're not supposed to be here. Same place. Same place. Everybody's down from Atlanta. Are you serious? We thought it was a legal ride out, that's why we came here. Only on the place that they rented in private property. Oh, we didn't know that. That's all that was there. They tricked everybody. I know you ain't got no insurance. I know you ain't got it there, and I know you ain't got it. Because you can't get it. We can get insurance on it, but you can't get a tag. Are y'all trying to get back to where y'all put your truck at and slope to? I reckon we can we take the grass all the way there. Well, you know how to get there? Yes, sir. Yeah. If he talks y'all whatever, y'all follow them, they'll take you back to where y'all were at, but I'll tell y'all straight up, don't come back. Don't come back. What area is this called? Is this Macon, Georgia? This is Wheeler County. No, sir. Oh, this is a whole different county now. It's a whole different county. Another county. Oh. See, we ain't never been down here before. You're in a whole different county, watch yourself. Everybody who wants to mount a GoPro or any type of camera on their helmet or vehicle while riding in public has the legal right to do so and no one can prevent you from filming. If you're on a private property on the other hand, then it's a completely different ball game. But out in public? Nah. Approved it. See, we didn't know that. It's a legal 
legal ride out. We didn't know like. That's right. That changed it. I supposed to be on the road. Oh, we, I know. I'm saying that's why we said the legal ride out. That's all we didn't know. I have never heard it in my life. I, you, just right then, that's the first time I've ever heard it. Yes, sir. But I can tell you down here, there is no such thing. We didn't know. We didn't know that. We didn't think of Charlottesville. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Most definitely. Like for example, Chicago, Illinois. You go up there, and the police block traffic for us and stop. They Not here, they won't. I promise you, it won't happen them. No, sir. When you go to a bend like that, you need to ask them. Is it organized and is it a police sponsor to be in? If right. they tell you yes or no, that could be your decision making. I'd tell you straight out. You see another one, says, well, get back to truth. Cops were on some negative energy type of thing, and they even looked like they were about to impound their quads as they were asking about their tags. To be more precise, the guy in the vest. He said you're not supposed to be on the road as he checked for a tag. Low key, it looks like he just wanted to confiscate something. I, I work all the way up to Atlanta, so you may see me in Atlanta working. I go up there pretty regular work. Yes, sir. Everybody get together inside the town in a little small town and just ravish it with them things. Just all over it, pulling in the gas stations. I've seen it. Okay. Ain't gonna happen him, I promise you, ain't gonna happen him. But I'll, I'll get one, whatever, whichever one I can get. Yeah. That's the warning if y'all can go back and Yes, hey, we pre appreciate y'all, man. Yeah, I appreciate you. Definitely. All right, stay off the road. Do not hold nobody back. You know, no, we literally let it. people go by. I was about to say, I was telling everybody. Yeah. It might be hard to believe, we but really like back not home in Atlanta, the no city, problem. the police officers in the city, they know us, they know what we're doing, and they're okay with it. And the people of the city genuinely are like, love it. Yeah. Not here, I can promise you. Appreciate y'all being understood. Please, well, see, definitely. I, I'm still, I'm responsible for y'all still in this county. I want y'all to get over in that other county. <laughs> All right. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Bikers were riding around the neighborhood, and it looks like some angry neighbors do not approve of them at all. One lady in particular was mad, and she even went as far as to put up a barbed wire, and Biker didn't notice the wire as he rode through, and he hid it. This is completely outrageous, but check out what happened next. When the biker who hit the wire calmed down and realized that he was okay, he and his buddy went back, and this is where the crazy lady waited for them. She even went as far as to try and push the biker off his bike. Just what is wrong with people these days? With this clip, we conclude yet another epic episode on Maxime A channel. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, but it will be even more awesome if you learned something of true value from all the mistakes we showed you. After all, why not learn the mistakes of others if you already can? If you like this type of content, make sure to hit that like button because it really helps a lot. Until the next episode, ride safe and take care.